Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has written and composed some of the most memorable classic songs in history. Now he is here to talk about his new music. Please welcome singer, songwriter, and producer, R.L. Good to see you. Y'all as well. Very, very happy We've to see you. We've been trying to get you down here. We have. I'm scared of y'all. Don't be scared. Why? Man, y'all powerful. Like, yes. In a good way. Thank you. Know you. Saying? So it's just like, you got to be ready yeah. just to come sit on this couch. I understand That's that. True. Right, yeah. right. We're loving That's the new true. song we just yes. heard on your walkout. Thank you so yes. much. I appreciate it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, you know, I, I wouldn't even be myself. <laughs> If I didn't get down to the nitty gritty. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the people out here, Jackie's talking about he the Kang R&B. Right. What is your take on just actually giving any type of title to any artist mm -hmm. in R&B music or any genre for that matter? Honestly, I feel bad for artists of today because mm. if they had social media and camera phones out, when we came out, <laughs> there would be some proof of some stupid stuff we said. Right, I think right. he's talented. I think you're supposed to feel like a king, but it's something you just don't say. Because mm -hmm. I'm more into vocalists and things like that. And you know, I have nothing against today's artists. I like some of the music, but you have to have a discography and a yeah. history to call yourself a king. You know what yeah. I mean? So, and I think he's dope, but I just think that could he become king? Who knows? I wish him, uh, my favorite saying is this, I wish you well, I just wish me better. Ooh. So Ooh. I hope that he's a king to his kingdom and I just have a slightly bigger kingdom. Ah. Well, you've written enough songs to already surpass all of Yes, that. absolutely, you. You. absolutely. Okay, so you've done so much. Rated Next it went double platinum in 1997. Of course, the song Butter Love and Too Close. Hey. And when you go back into the studio or like, was it, how do you think about topping some of those things? Or do you even think about that when you when you go back in, e even during that time, what topping I, some of those hits? What I think about is just making good music mm -hmm. because if you try to compete with yourself, you can never win. Um, it's funny because a lot of the records that I did back then for other artists have a same have the same feel, yeah. and people are like, "Well, all your records kind of sound the same," and I'm like, "Well, no." The labels would call and go, "Can we get it too close? Can yes. we get a you know what I'm saying?" So. I'm proud of what I've done, but if you come to my house, you've been there. I, mm -hmm. Like literally, you walk around my house, there's no awards, there's nothing. You yeah. don't know the, that an artist lives there. Really? Except for one room, and that's my studio, but I honestly walk around trying to forget what I've accomplished so I never get comfortable. I want more, I'm mm -hmm. greedy. Oh, that's good, okay, that's yeah. good. But you mentioned not competing with yourself because you'll never win. I've, I've never heard it put like that. That's real talk though. What, does, what do you mean by that? It's like you're running in a circle. Like, mm -hmm. If I continuously look at what I've done, I can't look ahead and accomplish much more. Okay. You know what I mean? How okay. many accidents are you going to get into if you focus on the rearview mirror? I'm, and I'm in the windshield. That's my life. Oh, I, know, I that's love right. it. I love it. Okay. Message. <laughs> now, speaking of your discography, because I like to get into it, because it, it fascinates me how many songs you've written and mm -hmm. who you've written for, and you're oh, very low key you. on it. Yes, right. <laughs> and be singing down. Right. So, thank you. Wifey. Mm -hmm. That was a huge record. That came off of the album Next to See. Uh -huh. And everybody's like, my wifey, my wifey, but that term was kind of coined then. Right. So exactly. How do you feel how did you feel then when that song when that, that term started to blow up the way that it did? What does that mean for a writer? Well, to be honest, I got a lot of negative from it because a lot of women really? were like, well, why can't it be wife? Like why it gotta be wifey? And mm -hmm. the truth is, let me just set the record straight. Oh, okay. Wifey meant See, I'm from the hood, mm -hmm. so she got good credit. We need a crib. If we get married, then I'm gonna mess up her credit. I have student loans, whatever it right. is. So look, we really married, right. but we just ain't went and did it with the government right, right, right. because because <laughs> of the concepts and logistics and the, that can mess up and, everybody' life. Right. So we can say your last name on social media is this right. until it really is, and let me get myself straight because a lot of times women, they're not there's not a lot of architects anymore, and that's what I call it because. A lot of guys, you know, we talk about how they don't respect women in music, and the truth is, because it wasn't a lot, it's not a lot of architects. And what I mean by that is, there are women that want to come into the house and, you know, add a little throw rug or put some new sheets on the bed. But as you there when I'm putting the studs in, I want you to build with me, because if you build with me, then I can respect you more. And even if I get more than you have, it's ours. Mm -hmm. It's easier for me to give it to you if you was there when I was struggling and we struggled together. So that's what wifey is. Same thing as a wife, it's no different except that 
Maybe I didn't have it like you that. Just my didn't credit, go down anything. To the courthouse. Okay. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm trying to get the rationalization. I'm okay. trying to follow. <laughs> I'm following it you. It just means your your boo, your got bae. It. Okay. You got it. it. Into we, we might got some kids. We got some 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 bills in each other's name. Uh, right. Really, we, 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 we you not going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Right. right. Got, it. Yeah. got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So let's address the elephant in the room. Uh oh. What's going on with next? Cause I've seen like some other people. What's going on? Well, we're we're, we're back together touring oh. right now. They're okay, real good. brothers, mm -hmm. um, like biological, okay. and I love them. Um, but it's funny because when you get success, you start moving to different places, and and you're not hanging together every day. So you got new people in your ear and different people with opinions. You should be doing this. You should be seeing more. You should be having this. We've gotten closer in the last two years that okay, we've good. come back together. We've done like two tours. We just actually got back from Africa a okay. couple weeks ago. Um, I want to make more music. I don't want to be, and I hate the term old school and throwback because mm -hmm. we only use that in R&B. Right. Rock is classic. Right. Ah. You know what I mean? So, so I want to do more, and if they want to grow and do more, we, we can continue to do that. Okay. Yeah. If they want to do more. And, and I, well, I, I think they do. It's just what kind of music? Because right. a lot of times you go, we need to make more current music and... I just want to stay true to who I am. So. Right. I mean, Andre. I love Andre 3000's um, um, quote. You only funky as your last cut. True. Mm. You focus on the past, your blank will be a has what. Yeah. So basically, that's kind of what it is. Yeah, but mm. I do want to say this. When somebody wins a Grammy, uh, no, an Oscar, in a movie, they could have won it 30 years ago, and a movie could come out today, and how do they introduce them? Mm. Grammy award winning right. or Oscar award winning. Right. We don't do that in music, though. Right. Well, we, we have to take a break, child, because I can get into this all day. For those of you sticking around, though, for the four hour, there will be more with RL, so stick around. And the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. RL, everybody. Hey. We're back with the amazing singer and songwriter, RL. Yes. Hey. Let's talk about this new single, You Are. Tell us about that. Well, I, I think that it's become out of style to uplift women in your music when I listen to the radio. So. My question was, do I want to go with a club record that I'm kind of mm -hmm. known for, or do I want to come with a record that's from the heart? When I look at my daughter, I look at my wife, and I look She's at my so mother. Cute. I oh my can't gosh. even take words. Thank She's you. the cutest she thing. Is no. My goodness. So that's, that's what I really wrote it for. I wanted a man to say that to my daughter one day. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she is. OK, so again, back to songwriting, because you okay. know. You wrote a song with Little Duval uh -huh. called Pull Up. Now, mm -hmm. you're a bit, again, you just talked about evolving. Mm -hmm. um, what was the intention behind that, and what was that like working with a Lil Duval in this area, in this era? Mm -hmm. Well, me and my partner, B Flat, actually wrote and produced a record. It was for Next First. Ah. And he called me one day. Uh, we run in some of the same circles. He says, I need a record like this, this Coffee Brown record. And I, I had written that, so I was like, okay, I got you. Give See, me a minute. He wrote everything. So I, I <laughs> sent him the record. He was like, let's do it. Then uh, my DJ, had to connect with Ty Dolla Sign, so ah. I got Ty on the record. Mm -hmm. So it was supposed to say featuring Ty Dolla Sign and Next. Next. But uh, yeah, it didn't work out that way. It's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. I heard that people um, tried to say they didn't want you were supposed to be actually on the record. We are. We're at. We're, our, we're ad living at the end. It's our oh, background. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So I mean, but I, Duval is a really talented dude. I hope that he goes down because he's a great comedian. Yeah, yeah. He's actually a dope artist, yeah. and I just. I want to see people successful. It didn't work out the way that we had hoped, mm -hmm. but I'm glad that there's music out there and I'm glad that he's having success with it. Yeah, okay, good, well then good. we gonna leave it on that. Then we gonna go into a game. Because <laughs> we like playing games. We do we love. the Sister Circle. Yes. Um, and what's this game now? We like to, okay, so we're going to play a game called What Had Happened Was. Uh-huh. Okay. And what uh -oh. we had did was we had pulled <laughs> a few fun images or videos from your Instagram and you're gonna have to tell us what, what had happened? happened? Okay. Okay. Where am I looking? Right? Okay. We're, We're gonna, gonna look right at this monitor. monitor. All right. Okay. Yeah. What's, oh, oh, what, what's this right here? Well, I, I, I know how to work Photoshop and I'll be playing. And uh -huh. Social media for me is just a tool to have fun. Uh -huh. Everybody's like, you need to market, you need to do this, you need to post this. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. But sometimes I want to show my sense of humor. So I took a photo and just, I do that sometimes. I did it with like uh, a lot of people just having fun. Yeah, look at you then. Okay, we got another one. Same oh. thing, same okay. thing. That's the Photoshop joint? Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I don't take myself too seriously. Clearly. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently. Yeah, that's like cute. A sleepy hollow scissor hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that baby. Oh, oh, oh she in the potty too. Look at my boo. -boo. Yes. Oh. She is 
So I had to put her on this she, morning too. Really? So when she wake up, like, you ready? She ready too, that's my baby. Yeah, how does it, you know, I know you have a son, but how does it feel to have a daughter? Well, it's funny because I wake up early in the morning. People are like, how do you go to the gym so early? How do you do this? A number pops up in my head. It's 58. Mm -hmm. That's how old I'll be when she graduates high school. Mm -hmm. And I still got to be a fly dad. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm like, Pop, Pop, what, you want to talk to my daughter? What? <laughs> what? I got to be right. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we have another one. Uh-oh. Same, Same thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. And, I, and what I did was I, I'll make CD covers for records that like little records <laughs> that never came out, and that's one of them. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now who is this? Who is this? That that's, you that's Michael. Michael. That's Michael. Yeah. Michael. Uh -huh. That's Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay. That that's Michael. Like, borderline look like Rick one James. Night I was in Australia and I was bored, so I was just making a bunch of them. Like we were just sitting in the hotel and oh, we had like a couple days up. off. So that's yeah, it was crazy. Cool. <laughs> and we have one more. Hey, Miss Candace, <laughs> we've been looking for you. Who's going to come see these? You got it going on, word is born. Sweet platforms, better kill with no coins. Hey. No, no coins. <laughs> that's, that's, we were at Essence, and that's the lady in charge of the Essence Fest. Okay. And we sang our hearts out trying to get her to book us. It didn't work. Candace, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Maybe next year, but yeah. that's what it was for. We're oh, trying to wow. audition for the Essence yes, Fest. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, I know. You know, Mother's Day just passed. Yeah. How did you celebrate your wife, Lena? Love her so much. She's so beautiful. Thank you. Hey, baby. Um, I was actually working, mm -hmm. so I sent her, my mother-in-law, my daughter to Miami with okay. a couple of her friends and they yes. were on like a yacht or something. Yeah. So yeah, it was cool. Yes, that's beautiful. And what did, did you babysit too? Did you get Rory? No, she wanted to take the but baby because she, she wants to take, wants to take pictures. Like the, she's like the They be down to the Instagram man. full photo shoot. Right. Yes. This is how we know. Mm -hmm. Now what's going on with a next album? Either a next album or your next album. Oh nice. That was good. You see like my transition. That was real nice. That's real nice. You see what I'm saying? Well me and my production partner are his name is B Flat. We're working on Mm -hmm. my project we actually did 70 whole records for the next album that's 70 so many I, pl records. I played you some i know but like, that's so, so many records yeah so <laughs> I, it, you know I, whatever god wants wherever he leads me that's what it's going to be right now i'm mm -hmm. focused on me because uh -huh. i want to be the best me i can be let me tell you about this selfishness yeah. that i yeah. love mm -hmm. about oh, myself to too <laughs> because if you can't be right who who, who can't can take you be right nobody. for that's absolutely mm -hmm. well we're so happy that you came down yes. i want to tell you i really appreciate y'all having me here absolutely. i've known y'all for quite some time yes to see y'all and tune in and watch y'all i'm proud of y'all man oh, yeah. thank you you don't make it take us out take you go take us out well with that we thank you so much for joining us today it's been an absolute pleasure yes and be sure to check out his great music, um, his new single, You Are, on all digital platforms. Can we give it up for RL, everybody? Yay!